Hey everybody, what's going on? Just back with another video. Um, so I'm still not able to share my screen for some reason, but I just um, I wanted to go over what I found on 338 Polling Canada here. And what was interesting to me is that, I mean, we, know, we all know that the, the Conservatives and Pierre Polyev is they're ahead in Ontario. But when you go over to Toronto, which is usually like super liberal or super NDP, right now out of the 25 dist uh, districts in uh, Toronto... The Conservatives are actually projected to get somewhere between 7 and 12 districts, while the Liberals are only projected to get 6 and 12 districts. Now, that's still too liberal for my liking and most of your liking, but that being said, considering that Toronto being a very big city and a very big Liberal stronghold, especially downtown, you're seeing a little bit of a change there, where some people, because of the prices, because of how ridiculous you know the, the woke garbage and inflation and housing and groceries they're just like hey maybe they don't agree with the the conservatives from a social aspect but in order to even care about those things you got to be able to eat and you got to be able to pay rent and a lot of canadians right now they're just struggling to do it and they're moving over to the conservatives even in toronto now that being said the liberals can still win a majority of seats in toronto it's not going to affect the outcome of the election but i wanted to bring this up because it's just very interesting that even you argue arguably the most liberal city in Canada, or at least one of the most liberal cities in Canada. I mean, the popular vote total is thirty five percent for the for the Liberals and thirty two for the Conservatives. They're right there. And this was back in in May third, so I would imagine. I don't know if they do these kind of polls every you know once every month or whatnot, but I'd imagine it might even get a little bit closer than that, and maybe the. You know, maybe the Conservatives can win, you know, 13 seats and the Liberals only get 10 or 11. Still too many, but I'll take that. Helps us get even, not only get to a majority, because the Conservatives are seem like they're already going to get one, but just to make it, like, just to rub it even more in their face. Just as many seats as possible. I would love it. I would love for the Conservatives to get uh, 250 seats. Probably not going to happen, but it would be so great. Even though I'm not conservative, I'm more of a libertarian, I still want to see the liberals get smoked. Because libertarians these days have a lot more in common with conservatives than they do liberals, because the liberals have just gone so far left, that it's like they've fallen off a cliff. The other thing I saw here was that in Hamilton, where I am, which again, NDP cesspool, it's very close. Out of the nine districts, five are uh, somewhere between three and six are supposed to go to the NDP and three and six to, to the Liberals. They're projecting the NDPs get five and the Conservatives get four. That being said, though, in the popular vote, 34% for the Conservatives and 33% for the NDP. So it's, it's right there. Can Hamilton go conservative? I, I would be shocked, but man, just what a message that would send to both of those asshole liberal parties. Say, hey, get your shit together because we're tired of it. We're tired of the woke nonsense. We're tired of the climate change hypocrisy. We can't eat. We can't buy houses. It's hard to rent even in a pretty average blue collar city like Hamilton. It's unacceptable. And not only are conservatives, but independents and libertarians and even people who don't normally vote are going to be going out there and they're going to be voting for Pierre Polyev or his conservative representative in whichever district that you're voting in. And I was just looking through this today and I just, I was so shocked. I, I, I could not believe it. I just, <laughs> still just looking at this, I'm just like, wow. Hopefully though, it gets even better. Hopefully we can win Toronto. Hopefully we can win Hamilton. Wouldn't that... Just winning Toronto and Hamilton alone, getting us to that 240, 250 seat if possible, you know, maybe taking some other seats in, you know, maybe Northern Ontario, which usually goes a little bit more to the NDP as well. Either way, the more we take from these garbage parties, the more the message is sent that we will not accept this as Canadians anymore. We had a great country and that's what we want and we're not going to give it up so easy. So that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Thanks again so much for watching. Please don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button, plus turn on that notification bell so every time I go live or every time I put out a video, you get notified for it so you can watch it at your uh, earliest convenience. Uh, thanks again uh, so much for watching, guys. I'll be back shortly with another video.